Now, after three months of debating, four debates, two debate wins, and two ties, the debaters I faced were Yana Girl 136, Wilson 704, William Schultz, and recently, Mind Dagger. Two polls. One that closed a long time ago, asking if they agreed that the roast game is fact, or something like that. Or like, do you agree that families literally ate their own children as a Christmas roast? 60% of people said yes, and only 40% said no. And then the other poll, which I'm currently waiting for to close... Is asking, should the roast game be taught in schools? My answer to that is yes. Because children need to learn perseverance over cannibalism and self-awareness over cannibalism. The link is in the description below. And it closes on February 1st, 2018 at 12 a.m. And the link will be in the description below. Just, just click it. Since this last roast game debate was, has ended as a tie recently, there will be no more roast game debates. Because we can all conclude now that the roast game is fact. Imagine this. What if you were a six-year-old boy or a girl, just skeptical of the idea of a holiday called Christmas? What if you asked, what if Santa was not real? What if reindeers actually don't fly at all? Then someone your brother, your sister, your mother, your father, your cousin even. Sometimes they would just sneak up on you, grab you, and take you back inside. And then the person who picked you up told the entire family that you did not believe in Christmas. So, they warned you, if you do not believe in Christmas, you will no longer see us. You will no longer see this world that we live in. She refuses to believe in it. And then, the family does the unthinkable. The child has been picked up by the same person, which would be a brother, a sister, a mother, a father, a cousin, uncle, aunt, niece, or even a nephew. They would take you outside. They would choke you. They would find the most secluded part of the woods where nobody can hear you scream. While carolers out and about singing Christmas carols back then. So, they make sure you do not hear a child screaming. Then, one of the members of the family grabs a knife or a gun. Either he or she beheads you, slaughters the fuck out of you, or shoots you right in the head, explodes the head, and slaughters you. Then, they gut you. They take every last edible part of me outside of you. And they take out the bad excrement out, like the fecal matter. The, 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 uh, maybe the developed sperm if you're a boy, or like six years old or something. Maybe excess unused estrogen. Maybe that. And they 
keep the good meats and they put it in some plastic container like some Rubbermaid. Like that it's really huge. And they take it with them. Then they freeze them. Before they freeze the meat, they wash the meat. Then they freeze the meat. Waiting, it's, uh, waiting until it's like the holiday season back then. Then they defrosted the meat. They seasoned the meat. They cooked the meat. And then as soon as it was ready for them, which they stuffed your body parts, like your kidney, your heart, your lungs, your intestines, they squished all that together and put it inside of you as you were a cooked roast for them to eat. Then they eat you. And then everybody just forgets that you even existed. This is cannibalism. And I believe that cannibalism is wrong. And it used to happen in this wonderful society we used to live in. We've eaten children before. In men, uh, on many occasions. This is true. However... This just does not justify any of that. Now, I've received a lot of rage comments. Over 620 of them. From people like KWLM, Sir Dave, Marmon, or M. Harmon, Yanagirl136 herself, <laughs> Frankfurter50, and some others who just annoy the fuck out of me. You guys have seriously got to calm down. Calm the fuck down. There is no sense for you to come raging in the comment sections, challenging me, trolling me, or even threatening me. Crazy456Rhino has threatened me once, and I reported his comment. And I no longer see his uh, unchallenged decline debate he's had so it must have removed his challenge debate which I declined there is a lot more I have to say about the roast game and how cannibalism ended in this country and how it received a lot of rage in challenges in debates on debate.org since my first roast game debate started on October 20th, 2017, a lot of people have been raging. They've been posting lots of rage comments, lecture comments, and can't seem to make any new arguments except from the debunked argument called the burden of proof argument. I've beaten that argument in two tied debates believe it or not the burden of proof argument is pretty weak and it's ridiculous that many people like not really many people but I think it's only like a couple of people challenged me in saying that the roast game is not fact that they claim that they claim that it's fallacy they claim it's not fact they just want to challenge the fuck out of me and you know what i said to them fuck no i decline the challenge and now they get pissed in the comment section until the very the very point of where one of them literally throws a computer and with its keyboard out the window because crazy 456 rhino has told me before that he just might as well throw his computer and keyboards out of the window as we know it's pretty crazy that these debaters are actually horrible debaters i'm much better than them because i know by now how horrifically bad debaters may seem and debaters are 
you know what? For those who disagree with the Rose game, how about you be that six-year-old boy or girl? How about you get threatened or you get slaughtered? You get, you, you, you get choked to death, you got shot, or even suffocated. You get gutted out. All your bad and dirty excrements are cut out. What if you get eaten by in this long process when they picked up the most edible meat that you have on your body? They take that shit off and they put it in a rubber made can or like like a container. Then they defrost the meat after they freeze the meat they season the meat then they cook you and then they stuff your little body parts in you as you are cooked and then they eat you would you want that would you want to be another victim of America's great Christmas cannibalism the roast game if you don't want to be a victim of this cannibalism that families committed all over the country from 1998 to the summer of 2017 or pretty much to the end of 2017 because very little children were left that they slaughtered the very very little children that they slaughtered were left so basically they ran out of children to eat which is good cannibalism should not happen anymore it is one of the sickest crimes of the 21st century in fact the cannibalism in american society was the perfect crime of the 21st century it's what binds families together eating their own children Like dividing the family without the child. It's like positive culture in general led to cannibalism. Because without the positive culture, there is no cannibalism. They needed children to eat because they want Christianity and they want Christmas to be a a completely unquestionable unquestioned idea or holiday but their goals have failed now all the Christians are dead as I look around my neighborhood I don't really see any carolers at all in December I never seen a single one in December in Columbus Ohio not a single one I never seen Santa at all. Never seen reindeers fly at all. So we're good. That is my main part of my rant video. Here's my ending part. Before I end this video, I would like an I would like to tell you an extra fact to make the roast game have a more depth look in reality, like a more death perspective in reality you see nutmeg and cinnamon were heavily used as scents to get rid of the gross and vile smell of decomposition from excess excrement of the child's dead body from the slaughter it is also used as a threat to suffocate women then to sexually assault them if they interfere with the operation of each slaughter since nutmeg and cinnamon are mainly spices they are very dry and nearly impossible to consume without water or to inhale without water they could be fatal even deadly there could be fatal and deadly consequences when spices like cinnamon and nutmeg are inhaled or consumed without water thanks for watching the final poll to the roast game will be in the links in the description thanks for watching